<laughs> no fucking water. <laughs> Get a piece of water. You always get Nikki's tutorials of straw when she was here. Beauty. <laughs> Secrets. Never say never. Let's get you together. Tea spelled on drag 101. Tell me something, boy. Da 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 da. Star is born. I'm dragging. That's good. That's gonna like that. She gonna she she's laughing right now. I'm on the dragon watching me singing <laughs> or bacon. <laughs> Woo! It's hotter than these breasts. Tell me something, boy. Thank you. <laughs> well, hello there. My name is Patrick Star. <laughs> Oh, well, well, let me tell you something. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. This is my series, Drag 101, where I teach you how to be a queen. A drag queen! We are here to serve you Red Rojo Ruby, which was once my drag name, once upon a time. Realness, y'all. Oh my god, I love this makeup. Huh, huh. Let me post for y'all. My breath, don't my breath look so real? Don't my makeup look so good? Don't my hair look my body? Oh my god, my outfit is hiding everything. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three, bam. Bam. Ow. <laughs> Gotta anchor my wig because I didn't duct tape her, but boy, oh boy, I am obsessed with this look. Um, can I knock on season 20's door? Okay, I just need a little more practice and I'll be good. Oh my God, my thighs are chafing. I am so excited, y'all. Guys, you didn't already see, we did a Drag 101 series on hair, on body, on rest, and here we are today with makeup from start to finish just for y'all. Do y'all like the series here on my YouTube channel? I haven't done a series before, I've been thinking about it, and I love it, and I hope you guys love it, and it's just a really fun idea to do right here for you guys on my channel. Guys, believe it or not, my ass is covered up in G-L-U-E, okay, glue, okay? It is so painful, but don't I look snatched. Peter, zoom in, three, two, one, bam! Okay, bitch! Detail me, try me, Shantae, I motherfucking stay, zoom out, and bam! Okay, we'll work on that, Peter, but guys, without further ado, if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look from start to finish, subscribe, damn it, and take a screenshot, tweet a bitch, and keep on watching. Ow! All right, we are going to cake the face today, so I'm gonna start off with some Fix Plus. My skin is a little bit dry, especially after a... <laughs> Especially after I shape because you can see I have a little some dry patches here and there and it goes through a lot. So first things first, moisturize the skin as much as you can and pop in the contacts. I'm gonna go ahead and put my eye drops in. All right guys, so now it's time to glue down the brows. If you guys don't recall, I did Jessica Rabbit last year. It's funny how I'm gonna be a redhead again. But we are going to take a glue stick. I'm really scared to use Prozade. I tried it before on Bretman, but it's such a thin product. I'm such a cake face kind of gal that I'm used to the feeling the product. Prozade is an adhesive for prosthetics and drag queens do use that. And it's something that I am not very familiar with, but this is something that I am very familiar with, which is the glue stick. So you wanna get the purple kind and uh, let's zoom you right in. Whoa, we're really close. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the glue and just go right back and forth. Really good. You want to make sure you go against where your brow is growing and do like a goopy layer. Same on the other side. All kinds of directions. So if you get the back of the hair, the back of the hair will be coated and it'll lay flat. Sure, y'all drag queens know. If it's your first time seeing a bitch glue down their brows, welcome to my channel. Also to you guys, I did wipe my brows. If you have some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, definitely rub it because there's a lot of excess oils that can get onto your hair, but I made sure mine was dry, especially if you use like skincare or moisturizer or serums on your face. You do not want to get it in the brow. So I'm brushing my brows up and out. And make sure you work fast. Next, we're gonna take the blow dryer and blow dry. 
I just want to emphasize that first layer is the most important layer. So the more you gunk up in the brow, the better. And whatever is excess like on your forehead or on your skin, you can take a wet makeup wipe and wipe it later. But definitely that first one is the most important. So now that I feel like that I'm a little bit dry, I'm gonna go ahead and keep layering glue and blow drying about four more times. So we are done with the brows and I'm going to take a powder puff and stamp. And you wanna make sure it's dry before you do this part. We're gonna take a puff and a lot of air spun and just fill in the nooks and crannies. And I wanna give like a little tip and trick. When you look on the side of a mirror, like kind of like profile, you could see all the hairs look flat. Cause you know how the hairs like stick out, which you can kind of see. If it's flat to your skin, then you know you're good. I like to check both sides and we are pretty B-A-L-D bald and let's continue on. All right, so if you are a first time drag queen uh, enthusiast, be sure to get the translucent extra coverage. Get on Amazon, all the links are down below. This powder is a must. Even if you ain't a drag queen, it's okay. It's a good brow day today. So the technique of the powder is to fill in the cracks and the crevices of the brow. So I thought why not put some on your pores, okay? Just to soak up that extra grease and fill in the pores. Make sure you wash your face thoroughly at the end of the night. All right, so for color correcting, I'm going to take the Clinique Color Corrector Apricot. I'm gonna take a bunch of it on a flat brush and just go ahead and go to town right around this area under my eyes a little bit just because I like the extra coverage. Now on to foundation, my favorite part. We are going to take the Kryolan TV Paint Stick in the color FS24. This is really, 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 really full coverage, but I feel it's more creamy, greasy than the actual MAC full coverage foundation because the MAC seems more stiff but they're both just as great. I'm gonna go ahead and layer both. Next, I'm gonna take a lighter color TV paint stick and go down the nose, right here under the eyes, and over the brows. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything. I know I look crazy, you know what? I'm looking like Lady Gaga, one point in her life, but you know what, a star is born. Stay tuned. But I am going to take my body blender from Real Techniques. It's normally sold at Ulta, but I got this from Amazon because my Ulta was sold out. Look how large and in charge this blender is compared to the regular beauty blender. If you guys didn't see my video with Plastique, this is where I got it from. So we're gonna go ahead and blend. Right now that you're blended to your heart's desire, you're gonna go ahead and take your air spin and quickly set your face. Now once you layer your first layer of powder, then go ahead and go on with the second. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and draw the brows. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pencil from my MAC Part 1 Holiday Collection in the color burgundy and sketch out some brows. Brows are, are preferential, okay? It takes a little bit of a minute, but I love me an orch. So it's all about the curves. We're gonna go ahead and take a lip pencil, whatever pencil you prefer, and just go to town. My brow starts down here, so I'm just gonna go a little bit higher. And then the top of my, my real brow is here, so I'm just gonna make my arch be the the bottom of the top of my real brow. Oh, she a bad bitch, okay. Man, I miss artistry on YouTube. And I just wanna say throughout the video, it's gonna look worse before it look good, okay? Stay with me, it's gonna look worse before it look good. Next, I'm gonna take my liquid lipstick from my fall collection called Patty Pout, and it's a deep red. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and fill in my brows. So what I'm doing right now, I'm looking like Ronald McDonald's. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out kind of like where I want my lid to be. The majority of my lid right here is going to be eyeliner. So I wanna make sure that I have enough lid for eyeliner since I drew my brows so high. Very much like Trixie Mattel, but not so much Trixie Mattel where she takes the liner and puts it all over her lid. Pretty much up to here. So I wanna make sure I give it enough space for my lid to be seen. All right, so for the eyes, I went ahead and I buffed out this lip pencil right here just to get the idea of where I want, because we are building a new face, new brow placement, new eye shape, new face, new nose, new lips, new everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this new eyeshadow palette. This is the Certify Dynasty palette and the colors are so pigmented in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this color here called Cloak. I'm going to build this color, hella pigmented. These shadows are so good. And it's really hard to find a red that works. Next, we're gonna go into the Tropica palette from Certified and going to the Toucan. I think orange and reds go together. Yes, we are going McDonald's kind of-ish. Um, I'm thinking of fire. So dip into your Toucan and blend out that red. Cause I love red. So what I'm gonna do next is just take that Toucan and start to build, I'm starting to do it here. Start to build out that transition out and up to the tail end of the brow so your eyes go like, this, okay? 
Now I'm going back into cloak and redefine that red and bring that red up and out. So next with my M433 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take I'm Into It from MAC. This is an eyeshadow from my collection. I'm gonna swirl and grab this deep, deep burgundy brownish red and define. So we're gonna start and define right here. So I know drag makeup can be really, really hard, but my thought of doing drag makeup is to just follow your features, but just go a little bit more crazy, whether it's up, whether it's out, I'm doing both. So what I'm doing is taking my brush, sticking it in my crease and going a little bit above my crease and a little bit above where I would contour and just lightly pressing. You see how I did that first arch? I'm doing this round part and I'm just gonna swing it back into the red. And we're gonna start to get a blend. You just gotta trust the process. Drag makeup starts to look right when the darker colors come into play because you start to see the features getting defined like lashes, liner, dark shadows, contour. So next I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease using light sand from Tarte, the shape tape. And I'm gonna take a flat brush and cut the crease. All right, so I already cut the crease. I did a little bit on this eye, so what I'm gonna do, I'll show you. As the crease is wet, I'm going ahead and I'm taking a dark red that I'm into it from my palette. And as it's wet, I'm gonna go ahead, you see this, it's not cute, that little harsh line. So I'm gonna go ahead and as it's wet, pat it and blend it in. Look, come on fade, come on fade. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take cloak right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and build it onto the edge. I'm gonna start to create this blend. Next, from the Certified Palette, we're gonna take Waterfall, this pure white. All the eyeshadows in here are really, really nice. I'm gonna take the white and pat it on the inner half. What's a drag look without white? Now, I'm gonna go back into Toucan right there and mix it with a little bit of Sunray. These two yellows, and I'm gonna join the red and the white together. Mm -hmm. You thought I couldn't motherfucking blam, <laughs> bitch. You thought wrong, Miss Thing. She said she didn't think I could use another palette without my name on it, okay. Now going back into the Patrick Star palette, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. <laughs> bitch, I just have one shadow. Give a bitch one motherfucking shadow, okay? From my holiday collection. And I uh, just pat this and blend this into the eye. This eye is cute. Next it's time for eyeliner, some thick, thick, thick liner. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this Inglot 77 liner and an angle brush. OG MAC brushes before they went synthetic and go in and wing it out. All right, now the liner is done. It's time for lashes, guys. I dried eyes so, so much that it takes so freaking long. So for lashes, I was in the struggle bus. So we took Tati Lashes, the collab with my, 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 my match out. And we took some three in ones, iconic drag, wispy lashes, and we cut them up. Look, I even used a Tati case. And here they are, some mixture of wispy lashes. And I'm gonna pop these on the eye. If you guys wanna see how I did these lashes, let me know down below. It was a process. And I got some tricks up my sleeve to get these lashes to look correct. Can't tell me shit, bitch. All right, guys, so I'm taking that red that I used from earlier. And I'm gonna go ahead and Blend it out from I'm into it. Create this bottom red smoke. All right, so for the bottom lashes, some queens like to do individual lashes. I am always seem to be in a rush. So I'm gonna take some lashes that I trimmed just about three quarters of the way. I'm going to put glue towards the bottom so the lashes stick up and you'll see what I mean when I apply them. So I'm gonna put the glue on the bottom and apply them. So since we are gluing the lashes upside down, you see how the glue is on the bottom of the lash? So they stick upwards. Uh -huh. And if you look at the different drag queens that come from RuPaul's Drag Race, there are people like Bianca Del Rio who have her eyes really big, and there are drag queens like Miss Fame where it's very smoky and almond eye. And then you have ones that just completely go over the top like Trixie and Mattel. So it's up to you where you wanna find your aesthetic in your eyes and what fits your face the best that you prefer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this Platinum Magnificent Metals eyeshadow. This one is called Precious Platinum. It's like a silver and I love the reflex in it. And I'm gonna take this angled liner brush and remember, you see this gap right here? I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with a silver. And look how open my eyes look. All right, so now moving on to the face, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Make Forever Pro Finish Powder in the color number 170 and just knock off all the air spun. But if you want to be extra full coverage, go ahead and take your powder puff and go ahead and pack it in. But make sure you avoid, 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 so pretty pretty on me. Make sure you avoid the under eye area because that's where we're gonna pack on a letter color. Now take the letter color in your puff, fold it in half, create like a little wedge of a beauty blender and add in that 
color. The color that I love to use for the under eye is 128 by Makeup Forever and NC30 by MAC. The Studio Fix Powder. This would be NC30. Yes, God, we are lighting up. It's like a light bulb is in my head and it's just glowing through. And the rule to the contour is if it looks really harsh, then you're doing amazing, sweetie. So for blush, my face eats blush so, so, so much, so, so. so I'm just gonna go ahead and take hibiscus right here, this hot pink. Just dip this blush brush and just go to town. I love using eyeshadows for blush. Look how hot pink this is. You see my brush? Let's go in. You're a drag queen, it's okay. Oh my god, I almost forgot about my nose. Oh, how dare she? Oh no. How could you? Oh my god, I cannot breathe. Oh, love that. I uh, love that. <laughs> now for the lip, I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, burgundy lip pencil and overline for filth. So for all the straights out there, what we call in the drag community is painting for the back row because we are performing tonight and you want them to see your DSLs to get that extra cash for that Burger King we're gonna swing by and get right after the show. Wow, <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> That was, <laughs> why the fuck are you laughing? <laughs> Zachary Vang be like. And the trick that I do with lips is I'll fill in the skin between the liner and my real lip with pencil. Because technically that skin does not absorb as much product as your like real lips do because your lips are just paper thin skin. And just fill in as much as you can around the lip because this is going to create a barrier for your lip to bleed. Gonna go in with a really beautiful lipstick. Next, we're gonna take some eyeshadow and add some dimension to the lip using that same shadow to smoke out my eyes called I'm Into It. And honey, for finishing touches, goop on the gloss. This is Patrick Wu. Mm. Yes! And then draw in one sickening mold to show how rich you are. I'm gonna go change and I'll be right back for the finished look. Ooh, y'all ain't got nothing on me. Okay, again, Shantae, I say I am loving my look, ba da ba ba da, I'm loving it. Okay, y'all, I am loving this look so much. I am serving you hair, I'm serving you body, I'm serving you boobs, and of course, makeup, and of course, fashion. If you guys want to know about fashion, as far as your drag aesthetic, dig deep down inside, under the breastplate, under the tape, and find your style, and just have fun with it. Layer jewelry, I got all of these jewels from like a dollar from Amazon, from downtown LA, and I'm wearing two necklaces. My you guys, look, a stone is missing. So I took this brooch right here in some fishing wire and don't tie her up. My outfit is by B. Calla. My hair is by my um, girlfriend, Angel. And I love those girls so, so much. Follow them, description down below. Follow me. I love y'all so, so, so much. If you guys wanna see more drag looks like these, let a bitch know. Thumbs up, subscribe. I love you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. I wanna thank my whole team. Fabian, Peter, Sap, Vikala, Angel, all my subscribers, all my little monsters out there. Pause up, baby. Subscribe so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.